So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about tapping and um, I'm gonna bring up a little sheet and talk about tapping. And then we will um, practice a little tapping. We will practice calling in to those who help our soul to sing, as opposed to the external checklist. Like I said, um, wonderful, wonderful man. I feel so bad that he drove me nuts. But, um, and I hope you went on to live a very, very good life. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. So EFT tapping. Uh, can you guys see this? Okay, good. Um, you have certain pressure points on your body that stimulate the neurological functions within you. Now, I am not a tapping expert, but I know when I work with people who are, it is really powerful. And I know many of these points are points that we naturally tap on at times, you know, when we need a little support anyway. So generally you begin right here at the, like the karate chop parts of your hands. And that just kind of opens you up. And some people tap like this, some people tap like that, you know, it all works. And that helps open you up. And then you go and you tap the top of your head, which, you know, really helps open up your crown chakra. And it helps to like connect with the divine flow of whomever you're calling to. And then you tap above your eyebrows, which is um, at the brow chakra, actually, on the supporting side of the brow chakra. I generally tap above the eyebrow, but also a little bit just below the third eye at the brow chakra. Some people like to add the third eye as well as the brow area. You'll feel like when you tap, the correct is right above the uh, inner part of your eyebrow, which is the base of your brow chakra, but you'll feel what works for you. And then tap outside the exterior corner of your eyes. And then under your eye, remember we never wish to harm our physical eyes. So under your eye, sort of right above the bone, the cheekbone, and if you get it sort of you'll feel where the part is that affects your nasal passage. And just beyond that, there's an area that feels very comfortable or you can just hit the whole area under. But remember, do not get too close to your eye. And then right below the nose, right below the lip, and then below the collarbone. Some people, like you may find you naturally sort of thump here when you're in, when you're trying to like calm down. <laughs> so you can do here or using one hand with the thumb hitting one side and the fingers on the other side, it creates a little more of a resounding thump all across the area because you use the palm of your hand in the center. And then, some people do backs of the hands and fingertips as well. Uh, most people just go back to the karate form. Mitzi. Hi. I just manifested Mitzi. Come and join us for a bit. She saw another dog out the window and felt the need to uh, speak up. So again, with um, EFT tapping, it is the same process of what you wish for, what you have to deal with inside, and then releasing that to claim what you wish for. So everyone feel welcome to join me. Invite your body to just sort of release and relax a little bit. I'm going to stop the screen share. So it's back to me. 
Um, you can go on YouTube and find really, really good tapping videos. So if this is a process that resonates with you, uh, you know, I recommend checking out because this is, um, I'm not, you know, a licensed certified EFT tapper. I'm just someone who enjoys doing it. I've worked with a lot of people. I just want to make sure that everyone understands there are others that are better than me, but I want everyone to know this process. So go ahead and karate chop your hands or go back and forth and say, you know, I would like some companionship in my life. I would, to the top of the head, like to have my soul family, friends, my tribe, someone who really gets me. Then above the eyebrows, because I'm tired of being as alone as I am. Even if I have friends and family in my life, there's something I'm craving that is above and beyond that. The tips of the outer side of the eyes. I would like someone who comes in who gets me. It makes me feel a little more complete as a person. Under your eyes, I would like someone who makes me feel really good. Helps me to laugh just feel like I can be myself under the nose. I would like someone in my life who can support me and love me for who I am. And under your chin or under your lip, someone in my life who I can support and love for who they are. And under your collarbone. I deserve this. I would like this. I would like to have someone in my life, someone from my soul family, my tribe, someone that will just fill me with comfort and joy. And back to the karate chop. But I've had a lot of relationships come and go in my life. I've had a lot of people I've trusted that uh, they kind of left me worse off when they were gone than when I started. Top of the head. Or even worse, I had people come into my life, I thought we were close, and then they weren't good to me. They made me feel bad, and I kind of felt like I deserved that. Above the eyebrow. I've had so many people come in my life and let me down. Maybe that's all I deserve. Maybe I don't, I'm not worthy of having someone in my life that makes me feel good. Eyes, the outer eyes. Maybe all I deserve is to just be alone and lonely under the eyes. Maybe no one even wants to be my friend. If I reach out, they might laugh at me under the nose. So exhausting trying to reach out again and again just to get rejected under the lip. It makes me feel defeated and unworthy and like that's all I deserve. Under the collarbone. Like maybe I even planned this life so that no one would even want to be with me. That might even be my karmic challenge. Like I did this to myself. I messed myself up. <sighs> Do I even deserve to have friends? Back to karate chop. But I don't know. I do have some friends and they tell me I'm okay. 
they think even that I'm pretty awesome and they like being my friend. The top of your head. In fact, there are people in my life, I don't even think that much about them, but then they contact me and tell me how special I am to them and how much they value me. So the top of your eyebrow. Sometimes people contact me and give me appreciations out of the blue, like things that I didn't even remember or think were a big deal, were a big deal to them. They said, I'm the one who made them feel good about themselves. Sides of the eyes. Sometimes people reach out to me because they like me. And they think that I'm the person they want to have as a friend. Under the eyes. Sometimes when I contact a friend, they're like so happy to hear from me. And they'd say, we need to stay in more contact because my life is better when you're in it. Under the chin. And sometimes people reach out to me because I'm the person that they want to do something fun with. That they think it would be even more fun because of me and my inclusion with their activity under the chin. There are people who think their lives are better because I'm in it. There are people who make me feel good. And I know that I make them feel good that are already in my life. under your collarbone. There are people out there who actually smile when they see me or tag me on cute stuff in social media or send me funny texts for no reason. Back to the karate chop. So yeah. I deserve to have people I love in my life. I deserve to be valued. I know I deserve it because I already am. And there are those that I value. So I deserve to have this group of friendships in my life expand to as much as I want to the top of your head. I deserve to love and be loved. To the eyebrows, the top of your eyebrows, I deserve to love and be loved. I am actually a really good person to have as a friend. The outer tip of the eyes. I deserve to love and be loved because I am a really great person and great people are lucky when I'm in their lives, just as I'm lucky to have them in my life. Under the eyes, I deserve to love and be loved because I love really, really well, and I enjoy receiving love. Under your nose, I deserve to love and be loved because I am a good, honest, caring person, and I'm in growth. So all of my great traits are going to get even better with time. Under your lip, I deserve to love and be loved because I am learning to manifest wonderful things into my life. So anyone who becomes my friend or grows our friendship will benefit 
and I will get to share this with them. Under your collarbones, I deserve to love and be loved because I am like a super cool person. And I am very loving. I am a loving and cool person. To the karate chops, I deserve to love and be loved. Because my soul created me to be exactly who and what I am. And I am going forward with this person of this life with the best of my abilities. Top of your head, I deserve to love and be loved. And I call out to all of my friends want to connect with me through love and friendship, joy, goodness, steadfast reliability, and adventures. You deserve to join with this wonderful person that I am. Love your eyebrows. I deserve to love and be loved. You deserve to love and be loved. We deserve to have a, a, a loving friendship with each other outside of the eyes. We deserve to meet, connect, enjoy a wonderful, loving friendship that we can all feel so good about. Under your eyes, we deserve to feel good. We deserve to count on each other, be honest, and connect in the nicest, truest, purest way. Under the nose, we deserve to be friends. Under your lip, we deserve to flow with love and friendship. We deserve to become such good friends that our souls are happy. Under your collarbone, we deserve to have a big, soulful friendship. Your karate chop, we deserve to have the kind of friendship that makes everyone's hearts open up with joy and gratitude. On top of your head, I'm awesome. And I invite my tribe to connect with me, to find me. Let's be friends. Above your eyebrows, I'm awesome. I invite my tribe, my soulful friends to find me, to connect with me. Let's be friends. Outside of your eyes, I am amazing. I am awesome. My heart is open and pure. I call out. Let's connect a beautiful frequency of friendship and see what can develop under your eyes. I am amazing. I am cool. I am so extraordinary. I call out, hey, my soul friends, my soul family, my soul mates, my tribe, anyone who resonates with me on this really amazing frequency of mutual appreciation, respect, love, 
let's connect and see what friendship can happen under your chin. I'm amazing and you're amazing. Let's find each other, let's connect. Let's become friends and see what happens because it will be great. Under your lip, we have an amazing connection. We are flowing, flowing with friendship and connection. Let's find each other. Let's resonate. See what adventures we can get into this really awesome friendship. Under your collarbone, I am an amazing friend and I invite you, an amazing friend, to connect with me. So we can open our hearts and have wonderful, awesome friend adventures. Karate Chop, I am amazing. There are so many of you that are amazing. In the world of amazing people, those who resonate with my very special frequency through the highest resonance of love, let's be friends. The top of your head, let's be friends of your eyes. Let's be friends outside of your eyes. We already are friends. So let's meet and grow this friendship. Blow your nose. Let's meet and grow this friendship. Under your lip. Let's meet and grow this friendship under your collarbones. I look forward to getting to know you. I look forward to being your friend. Karate Chop. Hello, friend. I can't wait for us to meet. Wonderful. Now give yourself a Big friendship hug and invite your friend or friends, whoever they are, to share this hug right now. Your heart is sharing this hug. Hello, friends. I can't wait for us to meet.